Welcome to our lecture online. What is a unit vector? Well, sometimes it can be quite confusing because there's some, some nuances about those unit vectors. So let's explore what they are. First, let's start with the directional unit vectors. At this time, we understand that along the direction of each axis, there is a small vector of length 1 that then represents the unit vector in that direction. And so we indicate that with that little symbol like that on top of the letter, in this case the letter X or the letter Y, to indicate that this is a unit vector of length 1 pointing in the X direction. This is a unit vector of length 1 pointing in the Y direction. As we said before, instead of using X and Y, we can use I and J. And in the case of the third dimension, Z, the Z axis, we can use K for instead of z in that case as well, which we'll see later. Notice that if I take the magnitude of the unit vector x or the magnitude of the unit vector i, I get 1. Same if I take the magnitude of the unit vector y or the unit vector j, I get 1 as well. But what if we just had any old vector, let's say the u vector, which had a certain length greater than 1, and now we take that vector and we divide it by its own magnitude. The result of that is that we get the unit vector u pointing in the same direction as u, but the length of the unit vector will only be equal to 1, just as we indicated here. So it doesn't have to be one of the directional vectors, it can simply be a vector pointing in the same direction as the vector we started with in the first place, except now that it only has magnitude 1. And what sometimes makes it confusing is that let's say that the vectors do represent like a physical quantity, like a force. Here we have a vector, f representing a force, of 20 newtons pointing in the x direction. So what happens now if we take that vector and we divide it by its own magnitude? Well notice we take 20 newtons in the x direction, divided by 20 newtons, the newtons cancel out, the 20s cancel out, you simply get 1 in the x direction. So even though we had a vector that had newtons as its units, we had a certain direction, if we want then take the unit vector in that same direction, the units actually well, they're gone. They no longer have a unit. In other words, unit vectors are unitless, even though they may represent a vector pointing in the same direction as the original quantity, but only with magnitude equal to 1. And we say 1, not 1 newton in the case of the vector representing a force. Here again, let's say we have a vector that doesn't necessarily have to point in the x or the y direction. It just points in any old direction. There's vector v. Let's say the magnitude of vector v is greater than 1. And then if we want to represent the unit vector pointing in the same direction as v, we write it as v with a little symbol, unit uh, vector symbol on top of that, and notice that the length of that unit vector will be equal 1, and it's not necessarily pointing in either the x or the y direction. Also note, we can also represent the unit vectors, in this case the directional unit vectors, like this as well. Notice that you have a magnitude of 1 in the x direction, a magnitude of 0 in the y direction, a magnitude of 0 in the x direction and a magnitude of 1 in the y direction. So that's another way in which we can represent unit vectors. So now hopefully you know what a unit vector is. Remember they do not have units and they, their magnitude is equal to 1. Sometimes we call them directional unit vectors when they point in the x, y or z direction or they're simply a unit vector pointing in the same direction as the vector from which they were derived from by taking the vector and dividing it by its magnitude. And that's how it's done.